So we're gonna take this brush right here. Really have a strong hold. Do not believe what they tell you when you see that 10 on here. All uh, Eco Gels got 10 on it. That's not true. Don't let them fool you and take your money like that. I'm gonna break it down to you. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Erica. Erica, today we're gonna be testing out a couple of edge controls. Actually, it's not a couple; it's like six. But we're gonna be testing them out. I'm gonna tell y'all what's what's best for what hairstyles. Stuff you need to know about it. Like if you're doing this style, you should use this kind of edge control. Um, your hair texture might be best for this edge control. Like, I'm gonna just give y'all a whole bunch of tilts, pointers, cause as you can see, I'm like, a, I'm 100%, 110% natural. Um, so I done t tried out a lot of stuff. I done did all, basically all the natural hairstyles. I done had braids, twists, you name it. I done tried a lot of stuff, so. You can't just have one edge control and then just be like, this is the best edge control. Cause like, it may be the best edge control, but for different, hairstyles and stuff it's not gonna be the best and um i'm gonna just share that information with y'all so in this video i'm gonna be doing my edges i'm gonna be showing y'all like a quick little tutorial and i'm gonna like show y'all which edge controls is best for what without further ado go ahead and give this video a uh, 15 likes so i can try style factor edge control because there's been a lot of talk about that i know y'all done heard about style factor now Style fat edge control, style fat edge gel. We gonna try it out now. But in order for me to do that, I need y'all to send something to my cash out because I heard it's kind of expensive. So, you know, my cash out is right here. Only Erica. That's also my Instagram and Twitter. Make sure y'all go follow me. Cash out Instagram and Twitter. O n l y e r y k h. Um, comment down below what other stuff I can try. I should try hairstyles, products. Anything you got a question about, you can just go ahead and ask me right there. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce these edge controls to y'all. And we're going to start doing my edges. And I'm going to talk about all the edge controls. Even if I ain't got it, I'm not, I probably tried it before. So I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about it a little bit. So let's get into the video. Cream of Nature. Uh, I know y'all probably seen this before. Like when edges start, like doing your edges start getting like super popular. This was like one of the first ones to come out. Got the Eco Gel Olive Oil. I'm also be talking about Eco Gel Argan Oil too, but I just don't have it with me. But I've tried it for a long time, but I just don't have none right now. Eco Gel Crystal, the Clear Kind, and we got Murray's Edge Wax right here. Murray's Edge. Wax. We got shiny gel. This is usually used for um braids, but you can use it for your edges. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually use all these products today while I'm doing my edges, so I can show y'all like how it works and what's best for you. Last but not least, we got Eco Gel Coconut Oil. You may or may not have heard of this before, but it's not really popular. But I'm gonna show y'all how you can use it and how it's gonna be very beneficial for you. Alright y'all, we're gonna start off with the Cream of Nature Edge Control. I actually got um all my stuff I use for my edges. I got it like soaking. Um, all my edge stuff soaked in this little solution I got here. If y'all wanna know how I clean my edges and not clean my edges, but clean my hair products and stuff, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Alright, so first thing I do is of course, just get my edges out. When I'm in a rush, I don't do this. I just, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and put the stuff on there and swoop them, but I'm gonna just go ahead and pull them out. I really don't want them like real thick. Like, I like my edges to look super natural. So yeah. So about this cream of nature, a lot of people be like, it don't work. 
Um, what else did I be saying? It don't work. It's oily. It's greasy. It melt. It does melt, but I feel like the key for like having your edges perfect with hold and style and all that, the key is to mix stuff. Like to me, it is. The key is to mix stuff. You might need something that's easy to super edge, then go in with something that's gonna hold them. So if you're gonna use if you're going to use um hold on real quick, I'm gonna go put in my contacts. Oh look at them edges though. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm gonna start on this side. I tell y'all I'm trying, I'm putting on all of them, so. I don't really use that much. And so since people be saying that like this, um, it don't hold, I like to use mine. Well, I fit, I find that works best when it's harder. Cause I, I saw, I found out that with this edge control, like when you first buy it, it'll be working good and everything. But then, it might like get a little melted or I don't know, it just loses hold. So if that starts to happen, just buy a new one. Oh uh, yeah, just buy a new one. But y'all, the hole it really isn't that bad. Like so yeah, the key for this edge control hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I guess right, bro. And also the key to doing your edges is only having baby hairs in the mix. So if you got something other than baby hairs, it's not gonna look that good. Unless they all baby hairs, put it like that. So y'all, now that I got my cream of nature on, that's gonna help with the sheen and it's gonna help um, with it looking more natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and like style them. Let me zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. All right, y'all ready? Is all ready? Okay. Y'all gotta look over here because the mirror over here. And I'm gonna just get a little bit more. And since I like my edges to look real natural, I just put it, I swoop it into like the rest of my hair instead of going like down and then into your hair. That's what I do. And I'm gonna get a little bit more. Put it right here. See, it is starting to lose that is the uh, stuff is starting to lose the hold. But that's why I'm gonna go in with this next product that I'm about to use. My Eco Gel Argan Oil. I, I use this next so we can just seal everything in and have it the way we want it. Now since this part here wanna be stubborn, I'm finna bring out the OG. This right here is the goat, now. This right here is the goat. I'm trying to tell y'all. This gives me the perfect style that I always want my edges to be. Cause I don't want it, you know what I'm saying, so uniform. So I'm going with my baby right here. She give me right every time. See, I like it to be something like this, but it's not exactly perfect yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the camera off, fix it a little bit, and I'll come back where I'm gonna do the other side so we can save time, okay? 
<laughs> All right, y'all. I'm not completely done with this sock because it's not usually how I like it. But um, I'm just go ahead and move on. If I get it how I like it, I'll come back and show y'all at the, at the end. We need the Ego Gel Crystal. Um, I want y'all to see how I'm finna do this now. Get a get a good before. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So y'all yeah, see that before, right? Y'all see that before? Alright, now pay attention. I need y'all to take notes on this part. We're gonna be using an Eco Gel Crystal. Just take a little bit. Put it all the way. I ain't gonna get my sideburns yet. So we're gonna take this brush right here. And then I'm going to go in with this Eco Gel Olive Oil. Just a little bit. When it's stubborn, that's when you need to go in with something else. So yeah, I'm pretty close to getting it how I like it, but I'm going to come back when it's like 100% because I don't want to like, you know what I'm saying, waste time doing the same thing. All right, y'all, I basically got everything pretty much how I like it besides my sideburns. I'm going to do those now. But I'm going to zoom in real quick so y'all can see my edges. I did this side. It's not as late as a lot of people do it, but this is kind of how I like it. Kind of, you know what I'm saying, as I said, natural. I like my edges to look natural. Then we got this side over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my sideburns now. I'm gonna be using shining gel for one side and um let me see shining gel and edge wax. Edge wax and coconut oil eco gel. So we're gonna see how that works. This side, shiny gem. Shiny gem for this side. So. For this side over here, we're going to use edge wax. Edge wax is good for if you have braids. Um, okay, I'm gonna just do it like this. If you have braids, the hair, the edges, the edge controls I would recommend is shining jam and um shining jam, Murray's edge wax. Let me see. Yeah, that's probably it. Shiny Gem, Mary's Edge Wax, and that, um, and that cream of nature. The reason I say that is when you use Ego Gel on your edges and you have braids, it's gonna cake up on your braids. It don't matter if you got cornrows or individuals, it's gonna cake up when you take them out. 
So I wouldn't really recommend using um Eco Gel when you have braids. I would recommend using kind of an oil based or just not a gel because gels cake up. So oh yeah, this is I literally just did this one. So that's what that one looked like. Actually, I'm using a little bit of um, coconut oil eco gel on this side too. Coconut oil eco gel is, is very flexible. It's good if you're doing high puffs and slick backs. That's what I love using it for. Um, Cause it kind of strains out your hair when you're using it. It doesn't make your hair wave up. It slicks it down. It has a nice sheen to it. Like as you just saw me do this one, it still got that sheen to it. Um, the this is good for braids. I wouldn't recommend it for if your hair is straightened, cause it's gonna oil up and drip down. Not drip down, but you know what I'm saying. People say it melts, so this will melt if your hair is straight. If you use this, I recommend using eco gel on top of it. Um, this is good for if you have braids. If you use this, you really don't need eco gel on top of it, but maybe your hair, you know what I'm saying, is a little bit coarser. You might need just a little bit of eco gel on top of it. Eco gel, this is good for all hair textures. If you have a straighter, like much straighter hair texture, um, I would recommend using a lot of this. I'd probably recommend something like this. Or you know what I'm saying, if your hair is very straight, you know what I'm saying, a straight, like straight, straight, naturally straight, I recommend using this. It's very flexible. This doesn't really have a strong hold. Do not believe what they tell you when you see that tan on here. All uh, Eco Gels got tan on it. That's not true. Don't let them fool you and take your money like that. I'm going to break it down to you. Uh, the Argan Oil Gel has the strongest hold. I give that about a 9.5 to 10. That is the only Eco Gel that I know that has a, a actual hold of 10. I try all the Eco Gels except for the gold one and like the weird ones and stuff. I use... I've used on um, the castor oil one and stuff like that. Um, that's good for twist outs. That's not good for edges or anything like that. It's good to slick your hair down a little bit, but it will make it wave up. It smells like perfume. This one, I give this hold about an eight. Um, it's very good. It's flexible. It's much more flexible than this one. This one hardens up quicker. This one hardens up not as quick as this one. So this one, I give this one hold about a nine. This is a good hold. It's very versatile for like all hair textures. Um, let me see what's next. This one I told you I love using this for slit backs and hot puffs. It strains your hair out. It's easy to brush and comb through. Good detangler. Not like a detangler, detangler, but like when you want to put it up, it helps get all the lumps and bumps out. I love using this one. I love using this one. Uh, Merce Edge Wax. It's kind of, it's not very flexible, but I do like using it. It's good if you have braids. Um, it's good if your hair is kind of straight. Not kind of straight, but like if you have natural hair like this and you know, you strained it out, it's kind of, it's gonna be good for that. You might need still to go on top of it with a little bit of eco gel. Um, the Argan oil one, that's the strongest hold that I've tried. I'm pretty sure it's not nothing stronger than the eco gel Argan oil and the eco gel family. Um, that one's that one's hold is pretty strong. I use that one for if I'm doing my natural hair edges. Um, I use the Argan Oil Gel to slick back my own um, hair. It gets me waves, and it has a, a really good hold to it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, y'all can kind of hear my voice trembling a little bit. I know I can hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Like, comment, subscribe, 15 likes if you want me to try Style Factor Edge Control. And send something to my cash out because it's kind of expensive. It's expensive, y'all. Comment down below some things you want me to try. Products, hairstyles, ETC. Go ahead and comment down below. If you want me to promote your hair products or anything, you can hit, you can hit me up on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can email me. You can go to my homepage, my YouTube homepage, and go over to about... My email gonna be on there.